When I was over at UPCA, at the college, teaching, you know, these people at the college, they'd look over the fence at Erie and the nice buildings and, and the nice labs and so forth, and they say, I don't, we don't think anything's going to come of this place. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so, you know, I, what I hired on, uh, it was kind of like buying a penny stock. And uh, you didn't know what was going to happen. Nobody ever heard of the place. And, uh, you know, I, I played softball for the Erie team, did stuff like that because we, you know. And, uh, and all of a sudden, we discovered IRA. And the stock went up like that, you know, <laughs> just like that, you know. So uh, it, was, it was interesting. Yeah. So, so uh, in the early days, though, you had nothing to do with IRA. I mean, IRA was basically in the can by the time you got there, 65, 66. Oh yeah, IRA was, IRA was there, and uh, you know, uh, in those days, uh, uh, people at Erie didn't really think much of economy. Well, it wasn't just Erie. I mean, uh, you know, uh, Norm Borlaug and, uh, and Pete Jennings, they, they figured economists were part of the problem, not part of the solution. Yeah. And, and George Herrar, too. And President and of the Rockefeller Foundation. And, and I know I had some correspondence recently with Pete Jennings. He still thinks that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so it was it was kind of you know getting in there in the early days was kind of interesting. So so uh, so so why do you think that Werner Tan was at Erie? And so why do you think there was an economist? There was an economist there, I think, because of Frosty Hill. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Because you know. I, I, I think I owe my job to Frosty Hill, you know, yeah. you know uh, because he felt there should be an economist of the okay. the, the, And he was Rockefeller, that. you know, you know Rockefeller, yeah. they had hard scientists right. and soft scientists, right? right? And, well, and as the hard way. scientists were the guys like Chandler and, and, and um, Jennings and all those people, you know, and they didn't like the soft scientists right. at all, you know? In fact, what Dill Otwal used to say, Dill Otwal was the yeah. deputy DJ. Yeah. A deputy director when I came to Erie. Bill Outwell used to talk about, okay, the Erie scientist and economist. He yeah. didn't even use soft scientist. He just called it just economist. economist. Yeah, anyway. So, but, but Frosty, of course, was the vice president of the Ford Foundation, right? So he was, he was behind the other half of the budget. That's right. Yeah, so he, he got the social yeah. scientist.